What I really like is is sort of that is that journey. You know, it's you you see someone who's excited about this new steps. You know, the new steps and and for their towards their future and their dreams and you know that sort of like you're catching them at that pinch me moment where they're just like I'm in love, I'm excited, I'm happy. When's the other shoe gonna drop? You know, and and playing that character who's gone through it in her life. You know, you 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 learn. Pretty quickly, you know, in certain illusions that kind of come come up um, in the first little while of the film, that you know she's, you know, had a strained relationship with her family and her parents. She is uh, she she's a writer. She works with this sort of like dot com company up in San Francisco, and she's fallen in love. She's newly fallen in love. Um, he's uh, he's divorced. He's been divorced for about two years and has a little girl um, from his first marriage, and um, he's convinced her to marry him and move down to his hometown and move into the home he grew up in and help him raise his child. And she is in love and excited about that possibility and willing to go into it, even though she does not have a background that makes her feel very secure in being a parent or any of those different things. So she's definitely stepping into this new life um, with excitement, with, with some trepidation. She does sort of like the the that scary, evil, perfect ice queen thing really, really well. I mean, went full out with the hair and did the whole thing, and and you know, just being that precise kind of personality that you can see and, and that you recognize. Denise was fantastic. Every little detail she was so excited about. We worked until literally the very last second possible throughout our shoot date and then we're luckily able to kind of go back in and and do some pickups and and do some reshoot stuff because she just crafted this really beautiful experience and we just really did not have enough time like it just you know it's it's amazing what we were able to accomplish and and the story that we were able to tell it's a big story it's a lot of people you know and strong perspectives with which to tell this story and, and it goes in and because we, you know, some some aspects of the story is familiar, you want to make sure that you're you're giving it a new life, you know. And she was just her background and her breadth and storytelling and and you know, producing and creating these big, massive worlds for other people to be able to do that for herself with her own vision and actualize and bring in the people she wanted to work with and every, all the way all the way through and the casting and 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 you know, just rooting for people and fighting for people that she wanted to work with. I remember um, talking to Denise about it. She really pushed for Whitney. Whitney had auditioned for it and tried really hard. And Whitney's someone who I've met over the years at roasts and stuff. And I just think she's just one of the smartest, funniest, most beautiful human beings ever. Um, her skin regime is outrageous. And Denise will go on and on about it because she's really uh, amazing. Um, and you know, it was a risk, you know, it was sort of like an idea. She doesn't normally get to, she's a comedian, she doesn't normally get to play that kind of character. And Denise just saw her and gave her that opportunity.